Hey folks, how you doing? Um, a lot of you going around saying I only have overalls. Well, as you can see, <laughs> I have a cool orange bathrobe. Um, I don't really care that much about attire and everything. I want to be comfortable as much as I can uh, in this world we live in. Um, a lot of you don't really understand what I, I am, what I'm doing here. Um, I'm a body just like yours, it's just the energy inside is different. Um, it's like I love telling people I'm no better than dirt. Um, dirt does a lot for us, it gives us ground to stand on, it gives us medium for the trees to grow in, which don't just give us shade, gives give us oxygen so we can live. Creation is a thing in work. There's no such thing as perfect, not as energy, not as anything else. That's why everything keeps evolving and changing on the other side, just the way it does here, although on the other side it's been stagnant. What the other side is, is the second dimension. We live in the third. The second one is just a little bit above us. Uh, three foot uh, straight up and then a foot and a half to your right. That's where the ground level would be. If you were on the other side, you'd be sitting there or standing, whatever. Um, there's been a lot of problems since the very beginning. Uh, the original first being was 27.5% negative. Uh, that's why your lives are hard. Harder than they should be. Um, your, your lives have at least 30% uh, more abuse than they ever should have. Uh, the whole reason for that was the original first being mother-father pair. The first being itself after it was in the first dimension and was just literally lonely. Um, it, it, it was the only thing anywhere. So it formatted itself into two different parts. L literally made male and female before it ever did anything else. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> but um, that's uh, how the male-female thing got started. It was 27.5% negative, which is a lot of negativity for something that's strong. Uh, so when a soul has 17% negativity, you can understand that as clean compared to the first being. But also for the, the energy frequencies that are soul, which is the vast, vast, vast majority of everyone, 17% um, uh, isn't just light, it's strong. It, it's a very good number. Uh, so don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Um, I can tell you that uh, Things on the other side have changed dramatically. That first being is gone. Things are trying to settle down. Uh, if you went up to a uh, a corporate uh, uh, think tank, uh, a board of, of directors of a large corporation, and you took out the the three main people, I guess whatever two main people. Um, that run the business, then there'd be a little bit of an upheaval. Well, if something happened where you need to take out the whole board, um, then you have a little more of a problem. You have to get some people in there, in there that know how to run the business. Now, when the, when the first board members that you got rid of actually were abusive and they needed to go, well, even though you're in a point of change and it's going to be a little bit of chaos where things get kind of crazy um, or crazier for a moment, at least you know or can have hope that things are about to get a lot better. And that's what's going on. The new mother and father energy that are over there uh, are, you know, less than 2% negative. Um, for source energy, that's incredibly powerful. Um, things will get a lot better, but it's the adjustment we're going through right now that's rough. Uh, I'm over there all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm very strong energy. I've got uh, COPD and uh, uh, degenerative joint disease. <coughs> we all have issues. Um, if you're in a body, you're going to be having some hardships. But... Um, don't you just get the feeling that we're just getting too much? Uh, this will stop by 2020. This isn't a prophecy. This is just pure knowledge. 
by 2020 things are going to get a lot better. Um, before it does, uh, I've seen some problems coming and it's starting to take shape and I'm regrettably understanding that this is the hard change that comes before the good stuff happens. Uh, kind of like the storm that happens before the rainbow afterwards. Um, many of you understand your religions don't work. Uh, there's reasons for that. They're false. Um, and if there was an all-loving, perfect, all-forgiving God, why would he create this hell thing? Uh, law of attraction. If you really want something, this great universe energy is going to get it to you. You know what? If, you, if, if there was such a thing and it wanted you to have that and it had the power to do it, <laughs> why didn't it do it? I mean, I'm taking things very simply. I can shred any type of uh, philosophy that's out there right now. I can shred it to pieces with common thought. That's one reason I'm such a simple person, the goofy old man in overalls. I'm very simple. But when you understand what's real, things just settle down. The square pegs slide in the square holes, triangular pegs in the triangular holes. Everything just fits. Um, what I have to offer you now is uh, the truth of what's on the other side, the truth of what's going on. And when you know that, you empower yourself. Not with some great philosophy of... I really want this and I know how to want it right so I'm gonna have it now yeah yeah that's right um, or there's this wonderful God that loves me and he just has to punish me yeah how does that work try to think of like a family structure okay uh, think of the golden rule that's one of the most awesome things there are there is excuse me um, uh, do unto others as you would hope that they be kind enough to do unto you um, compassion is the most powerful thing there is. You've all had a lot of lives, you've all been around a long time, it's long past time creation was running itself and this is what's in the process of happening. I promise by 2020 things are going to be much better but um, uh, I don't fear it, I don't want to say I'm afraid, I'm not. Um, uh, I know what I am and why I'm here and what's going to go on as far as the the basic overall picture. I don't have the day-to-day -day events and I, you know, I can't have them because they're not set yet. They keep changing on the other side of what's going on. But I know about, I know how it ends up. I know the power the structure over there. I know who's in charge. That energy is incredibly powerful. It's incredibly clean. It's a male and female source energy that's bigger than anything's ever been. The male energy over there can't even fit in this universe. It's, it's all over the other universes, the new ones. Um, there's wonderful things coming. Um, I'm going to throw out as much as I can on the website. Uh, SpiritualSymposiums.com uh, JSX.com is going to become something different than what it is right now. Um, I have people working with me uh, that'll help, but you know, again, the money needs to come in. I've talked to as many of you as I can. I, I can't reach everyone. I'm very happy to say that you all are interested, and I know you were. Um, your spirit guides are literally going to send you to listen to my words. That's how it's going to work. It's not like you're a zombie walking around and don't know what's going on, but you, um, you can be controlled and manipulated. And what's the, the most important thing is what's in your heart. When you see me, look at me, the eyes are like the window to the soul. You look in my eyes, you see, you understand, even though you do, your soul understands, even though the full part of your brain doesn't. And that partition that goes down the middle of your brain, your earth energy is on the left side of your brain, and then your other, uh, like, spirit energy is on the right side of your brain. Um, with that barrier that was taken out, that was this, what December 21st, 2012 was about. I kept saying, coming back in past lives, you'll never see the world the same, the earth the same, the world the same. Uh, that's all I said. It doesn't split in half. Uh, uh, the great light doesn't come and make everything wonderful. Um, uh, but it is about a lightning, uh, uh, a, uh, uh, a new wave of compassion that's going to come. But we have problems we have to get rid of here first. And they, what's going to happen on the other side is the change over there is literally going to bring change over here. But there, there, there was turmoil over there. And in order for us to get rid of what's here, um, there's going to be more turmoil. 
Uh, there is a, a bit of a worn space. Uh, there's a big problem with what's here. And uh, I do talk with everything, the planet, uh, the, the, the plants, um, animals, everything. Um, if you ever spend some time with me, I'll be coming to cities nearby pretty soon. It's time for me to start getting engaged with some larger public speaking. Um, but it's time for you all to get the message. And then you look into my eyes, whether it's a photograph or a, a video or whatever they call these things now, vid or something. Um, and something inside is just going to say that's going to make sense. Your spirit guide is going to tell you listen to them. Because what I do have is the truth. Um, I do deal with things that go bump in the night because I'm the thing that doesn't budge. I'm, I'm bigger than them, whatever. I, I, it's not about me. I don't want to. Uh, it's hard to be me and try and tell you a little bit about me without sounding arrogant. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I just want you to know there's something here. And I'm the one that has to break the news. Um, but uh, please consider looking at uh, some of the new videos coming out. You're going to find out there is a lot more going on than you're aware. Uh, I'm going to tell you things that are just going to make sense. And uh, it won't be a control over you, but it will be you inside. The part of you you can't really see, your soul mostly. Is going to literally say, I know that energy. I know the energy in that guy. And it's confident because that energy has been protecting all of us since from the beginning. You're going to listen because it's going to make sense. Your spirit guides will tell you to listen. Um, it's time for this to happen. Um, I don't know what else to say at the moment. Um, but you need to understand how important you are. You need to understand what's going on out there. Um, you need to know that what's set up here so far to give you hope just makes you feel miserable. And if you just take the truth, you finally can see a road that you can walk on. There's not a bridge blown up. Uh, the law of attraction. Um, you keep thinking, it gets you to a point where you have to go buy another book or take a $500 seminar so that you can learn the how to more properly want the things you want. Um, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm surprised that they actually said anything about source energy. It was a word I like to, to use that's not like creator or something, you know, overly arrogant. <clears throat> but, um, uh, the religions, you know, come on, this thing about the Adam and Eve, uh, 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 this Adam being so brutal and doing this bad thing. No, it wasn't, people. It's the energy that was inside this body. Um, I'm just Jay, you know, the human body that this stuff's in, that's all. But I know. That's why I say what I do. That's why I get away with it. It's because I know what exists. I know what's going on. And it's time for all of you to know in a large way. Eventually, Things will happen physically in the physical world where you'll have no doubt and you'll just know. Uh, in the meantime, uh, like I said, please consider listening to some of these other uh, quick videos that I have to explain more things so that you can look, get a little um, preview, a little snapshot into what's really out there. Because when you know what's out there, it makes sense everything will start to make sense why you have problems why is this why there's so many issues um the first step is just watching one of those videos okay the short one eventually i have to do larger things that cost money hey i have to live too okay i love all of you i'm so happy to do what i do but i have to eat if not the body goes okay so uh i'm not rich that's obvious um uh this movement needs funding in order to keep going so uh, a lot of you will also say not about money and then get mad at me for needing to make some money uh, I charge nothing compared to what other people do um, uh, the stuff that I'm talking about to just start to get you to understand what's on the other side that's all free I'm gonna have some meditation stuff that's free uh, people I'm learning how to do this on a computer I've been a mechanic and a lot of other things all my life. Uh, the stronger I get, the bigger my head gets. This thing up here, it's, it grows outward, looks like this. I've actually got the MRIs uh, to prove 
uh, everything I'm saying. I have a defect in my skull, and uh, uh, that defect is seen as the skull's grown. Um, but most of you, when I get near a bunch of you, my energy starts cranking up. I get hot. People uh, take their coats off or whatever. They, they feel hot. Sometimes the face gets flush. Um, I'm just a, um, an ordinary person like y'all. But the, the energy inside is just really strong. Um, it's the protector. And it's time to go to work one last time in the body. So let's start by... Uh, just release and I guess some information for you to look at and then you just look at it see what you think um, no one has to do anything as far as that's concerned but the things that are here running things they're going they have no choice no options they know it they're just waiting they're waiting for something a large physical display and when that happens I can't make it happen okay um, when it happens then things really take off and they get really interesting we do have family, important family in, in space. Uh, these little spaceships, starships, it's a very real thing. The things that run this planet, they came here, uh, heck, uh, 11 million years ago, there was life down here. They were, some of them have been here earlier, checking out the flora and stuff. Creation's a big place. Uh, we have a, an awesome situation that's being brought about. But first, we've got to clean up the mess made by the original mother and father. And it's a big one. All they were doing is, when you have a life in a body as energy, uh, it's like a workout. You work out one day, and then all of a sudden, you know, you take two days off, one day on, two days off. Next thing you know, you're really strong. You're big, powerful. Well, having lives, you all have been doing that. But see, you're not children anymore. Creation has grown up. It needs to run itself and just be protected and guided in the larger events of things to keep some cataclysmic, cataclysmic things from happening. Um on the other side over here um, it's gonna happen okay so what's going on is that creation has been is gonna be released you'll have lives where you literally if, if, if your frequency like I see you as energy if your energy is flows more towards being an artist you'll be an artist I mean you have lives like that you'll be it's still getting a little bigger and stronger but at least a third of the abuse in your life won't be there and you'll be doing it more naturally you won't be abused when life is, when you go in a body and it's all abused it's just everything coming down bam bam uh, uh, it, it, it puts your energy through hell and the hell funny word uh, there is no hell but anyway we, we have all these terms we just we used to use and because this is what we, we've been taught for hundreds of thousands of years and you can take it back actually millions but whatever um, uh, but uh, uh, by that abuse happening while you're in a body, it's literally developed a new frequency in all of you. I call it the abuse gene as far as like a body. The abuse gene. It's, it's not something that went bad. It's something that negative, an, an additional frequency that's grown in there. When I take it out of you, you'll be able to feel it. You'll just feel lighter. Um, so uh, things, wonderful things are happening, but it's not through some stupid philosophy uh, where you can get whatever you want when you want it because you were put in a body so that you could uh, um, have a chance to learn to grow stronger um, to develop yourself but they've always been over abusive the original mother and father literally wanted you as big as you can like growing cattle and then they're gonna take the original soulmate when you first came out you're one orb of energy and then you split into male and female okay that's what happens that's what all energy does that was the format made by the first being and formatted its own energy so that that would be a natural event and that we could never come back together again as one like two hands can come together yeah you get with the original soulmate you can do that but you're still two hands and the neat thing is that you're gonna to go to one of these they were trying to original mother and father were trying to make you big enough to put you in one of these new universes and then you spread out over a trillion souls uh, and then it's like Sylvia Brown was talking about uh, Mother, Father, God, and everything. Um, you know, praise Mother, Father, God. No, uh, -uh. creation's about creation. It's about you. It's about all y'all. It's not about some pair, some couple that has a head trip, that 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 wants everything to be about them. If something is worth the the idea of worship, it sure as hell don't, doesn't want to be. Okay, that's stupid. It makes no sense. Think about it. Um, just be you. Okay, just be you. Think about it. Common sense. You can apply 
so many things to just how you feel inside yourself, inside your heart. Just feel it, okay? Um, there's uh, the idea of growing you bigger and then putting you in the universe and having you release a trillion souls just so you could say, Praise Mother, Father, God. Praise Mother, Father, God. That's sick. Okay, that's sick. That was the original first being, wanting to retire. Have the other two sets that used to exist and then have them just all of a sudden, you know, take, a, take over the burdens. And then the original mother and father, they float around their own little universe they made. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not a universe, it's a dimension. Uh, anyway, um, to go there and then just listen to all these thousands of universes with all these trillions of souls and each one of them just saying that, praising them. It was about them. No, they're gone. That ain't happening no more. Simple. Um, um, it's time for you all to be free. It's time for you all to have what you deserve, which is the chance to go out in the backyard and not be harassed, not be abused by an abusive uh, set of parents. That's what's basically what's going on on the other side. Okay? Uh, it's a lot more entailed than that. You need to know who you have for family, what's going on. Um, uh, I'm going to bring all of it. It's time for you to know. In the meantime, I'm doing other things. I can't get, I can't get to all of you. I, I regret that. I really do. I'm sorry that I can't reach everyone and even talk to you. You all are awesome. I love talking with you. You people know that when I can get a hold of you. Um, I'm one person. Uh, I'm all over the world now. Um, uh, I'm doing a lot of work. Uh, it's time for me to start reaching you in larger groups. Um, if you have... Uh, uh, once you listen to my material, you'll have something new to look at. And when you understand what's real, when you can have some hope of something that's coming in the future and some things start to make sense, then you have something to hold on to. Then you can go through that next day of hell because you kind of know how it comes out. I can fight a storm because I know how it's going to end. Now, see, and I'm lucky, okay? Uh, it, it, a lot of you would um, not agree with that. My life has been uh, really rough. It, it always is. It's my job. Whatever. Um, the original mother and father didn't like me. The, uh, the, my, the energy in me is what I'm saying now. Um, uh, I'm, they made me the protector because they came out of the first dimension and they knew something else eventually would and they didn't just want to be able to protect themselves. They wanted to try to beat it up and control it. Yeah, that, that, that's not working with them. By the way, there's four new creations growing. Okay? What we have for creation is four new ones that are going to come out. Well, that want to come out. One of them uh, won't. One of them ain't going to make it. It's nasty. Anyway, um, I guess I said enough for now, but uh, change is coming. And it's going to be a little rough, but uh, the storm's going to pass, and it turns out really good. How rough the storm gets, I don't know. I already saw things happening uh, regarding the Mississippi River and terrorism coming into this country. And um, I said it'd be in the latter half before the end of uh, February, and it, it came. Um, it happened with the oil tankers. There's other stuff going on. So please uh, think what you want about what I say, but please listen. It'll go into the back of your head right here. Storage memory banks. The thought, energy of the thought is right here. And that's right back below and under the crown. And uh, you'll find out what I'm saying is true. And you will eventually understand there's a real reason to have hope. There's a real reason to have faith. Not faith in me, faith in everything turning out okay, all right? Um, uh, I'll never stop, never have. Those people that know me, they understand. They know why I'm here and they know I'm, I, you can't stop me. It ain't gonna happen. Um, I'm like I say, I'm no better than dirt. I'm just here to do my job, and I love you all, and uh, it'll come out. Okay, so uh, hang in there, um, and just uh, please try to listen to some of my words, and then just make your own opinion. That's all I ask. I'm, you know, uh, it's it's all for you. It's about you. It's about everything getting straightened out. There's a lot going on. There's life, sentient life. Spirit is sentient energy. 
and it's inside trees, uh, the earth, it's everywhere. Um, it's just understanding it's different family members and we have a, a wide variety of uh, members in our family. So anyway, uh, hang in there, try to be positive, but please do it for the right reason. Um, if I can use the phrase knowledge up, it's in my head for some reason. Uh, um, just listen to some of the things I say, let them float around. If you don't like it, let the words, let the thoughts hit the ground. Um, but uh, it's not for everyone because some people are so embedded in the old ways they're not going to be able to change. Um, not in this life, but then again they, they get out of the body. You get home on the other side, all you know what's going on. But that barrier's been taken out between, uh, a lot of it's been taken out between the two parts of the brain. So it's, it'll be easier for you all to uh, start to see things better. The thing about never seeing the world the same way, that's because you're literally going to, it's like a horse going down the road and, it, and one of those, uh, um, uh, it's got a blinders on, like when they, you see the horse and the buggy going down the road, uh, the blinders keep it from seeing everything. It's like when I went in your heads and I pulled all that, uh, uh, most of that barrier energy out, it let the two parts of your brain talk to each other. It's like taking those blinders off. So you can see more of what's out there, multidimensional. When you look in the sides of your eyes, that's where you see multidimensional. Those little black things that slide by, sometimes it'll blotch a light. It's a message. That's all it is. It won't hurt you, can't hurt you. It's a message. Sometimes, you know, we're seeing people and stuff like that too. Just uh, um, animals with you all the time. Uh, please, uh, you know, listen, see what you think, and if you feel there's a reason for it, then go ahead and tell a friend to watch. Um, it's time for this information to get out. It's, it's being made to get out. I just want to. I want to make it happen faster. I want to hurry and get this done. I want to get my job done. I got to get out of this body. I got to go home. When I go home, the knowledge of having lives is going to go inside the big energy. I'm like uh, the pea brain and the dinosaur. You know, um, the little. Uh, uh, it's like uh, the information, the knowledge of having lives that needs to be home. So um, that's another reason I don't care about uh, dying. So I finally get to come out and I can do everything real quick. That's why they don't, that's the only reason that uh, they don't shoot me, kill me. Um, because the things that run this planet know what happens when they do. So, anyway, uh, please remember my last life uh, when I asked everyone to stand heart to heart and shoulder to shoulder and do not get violent. Do not get violent. Violence gives them a chance to up their strength over you. Don't do it. Their, their control, their grasp. Just keep going. Um, Try to have a little more faith in yourself. Try to understand who you are, and that's easier to do. Uh, please just be listening, folks. There's, there's a lot of stuff you need to know. And when you find out how cool you really are, you can start having more faith in yourself, more faith in what's going to happen. Um, faith isn't a guilt trip. It's a journey. I've had that bumper sticker on my uh, truck for a long time now. Anyway, enough of me. Love you all. Uh, have a good day, night. Um, please try to contact me through uh, spiritualsymposiums.com or go to jessex.com. Um, I'm trying to answer the phone. I can't. I, I get 90, 100 voicemails backed up, and I don't have the time to get to all of them. I'm trying, but you know I have to eat and sleep too. Um, and I do a lot of stuff as energy on the other side. I'm cleaning up a big mess, so. Uh, uh, Y'all, please uh, finish waking up. Y'all are starting to waking up and doing real good. Uh, Y'all are awesome. You need to know how awesome you really are. And try to keep your mind open. But please don't listen to any more snake oil salesmen, whatever. Um, use your heart. Use your head to process the data, the data when people feed it to you. Use your gut feeling to see how you might feel about it. I mean, how, how you might what your intuition is about it and then use your heart to know how you feel about it. This turns out good but I got a bad feeling it's going to get rough. The things that are here want to retain control over this planet. They're not. They know they're not. So anyway I expect it's going to be rough. Uh, but whatever, you know, after a good workout you take a shower, things cleaned up, you feel better. Same thing. Love you all, take care.